Creating ideas from the ether and then manifesting them into language and images is quite an amazing journey if I may say. First, there's a process of translation of thoughts and data, and then there's consolidating all that raw expression until it's finally time to share that same mental model with others. Welcome to the third episode of this Working From Home series, where I would like to chat about how Google Sites and Slides can help curate informational journeys for your audiences in a succinct and rich manner. Let's start with Google Slides. Digital presentations have been around for a while, and what makes slides extremely helpful is being able to curate information with more people, even up to the last minute of sharing it live without having to email or download multiple versions. You can revert to a prior version in a few clicks, or assign people different parts via comments. And everything is auto-saved as you go, so no more losing hours of work due to computer crashes. The process of building a message so that it can be consumed by others is an energy and time-intensive process. This is because you spend a great deal of time narrowing a large body of information down into simple and consumable concepts. This also requires a great deal of empathy for the users that will absorb that output. For this reason, when building your slides, it's great to think of it as a user journey and try to optimize the experiences people will be left with and what call to action you would like to inspire. I am personally using slides in this series, for example, and I use speaker notes when I present in other meetings or webinars. I also design my slides as artifacts for others to reuse by making it shareable to anyone in my domain as a link and they can read the same notes. One can also view history analytics that are built into slides to learn more about how many people viewed your slide deck and then report that impact to your team. So if it's brainstorming, presenting in meetings or webinars, or creating self-service content alone or with others, you can use Google Slides. Now, if we continue to focus on the importance of a user's experience with your content, it's also key to think about how to centralize multiple pieces of your project's content in one place, as well as give people alternate ways to consume your information. This is where Google Sites comes in. Sites is a drag and drop website that you can control access to like a Google Doc. You insert things like documents or images, videos, PDFs, uh, supportive links or event calendars. You focus on the content and it focuses on the design and optimizing the layout for you so that it's viewed on mobile and tablets. You can aggregate content in a one-stop fashion for your project, your team, or for your entire organization. You can even use it to build external campaigns, custom sites with customers, project sites with volunteers, or a public website for your organization with a custom domain. Additionally, what's nice about sites and slides is that they're both searchable in Google Drive and Cloud Search. And you can also create shortened URLs for people to remember how to access them faster. If you're interested in learning more, I have linked several resources in the description of this video. And community, if you found this episode helpful, please click like and subscribe for future episodes. Cheers. Blah, 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 blah. <sighs>